Vault Hunters. Let's go. Raided the chest. Got the map. Just over there. So let's go get some um, buried treasure. Nice. Uh, we got a music disc. Whoa, I'm dying. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that. Like the coconut song. But at least we got some TNT. Hard to see, I will take and so so soon. Oh, stuff. Like we're always going to need stuff. We are on episode two of Vault Hunters. So I am new to the third edition of Vault Hunters and I am very thankful for one, this book, and two, this quest. So I am going to read through pretty much all of this to figure out what I need to do. Now is that below Y30 or is it supposed to be negative 30? I've been watching the VODs and it started negative 30 in the VODs so I'm not 100% sure on that. Alright, so that is very informational and yeah, uh, a lot has changed. Uh, one major is that we do not need to kill the Ender Dragon, which I am quite happy with. Let's take some food, we are going caving. I think we're good enough to go find a ravine to go jump in. Oh my god, I found it. This, this looks amazing. Like underwater, uh, it's just so cool looking. Uh, minus 30. Why minus 30? Like I said. Okay, that got us just over a stack and a half of chromatic iron. Uh, that, that was, that's just amazing. Like, it's crazy amounts. I still need to find something called Vault Stone now, because that's what makes the portal. Now my guessing is it's probably the exact same kind of spawning as the chromatic iron. And it's minus 30. Well, I'm not 100% sure on A little later. I have just spent maybe half an hour going through all those caves. And actually going through dry craves as well. Because those craves are just so big and so dangerous. Especially when you get no food or torches, so I had to come back and I have to go and watch this gal's new series just to double check where you actually find this stuff. So I went to check the quest book just because it was uh, it was kind of there and um, I ticked this and got some cooked vault steak. Wow, that's really good food compared to that. Yeah, it's really good food. The chromatic iron one? It says here minus 30, whereas in the book it says Y30. So I am thinking that um, something's not right. So Vault Stone can be found below Y minus 5. -er. Minus 5. I mean, they get 16 Vault Stone and we'll get 8 Vault Rocks. <coughs> I'm all for that. Especially now we've got some really good food. Three hours later. Okay, it's been a couple of hours now and I have finally found it. Yeah, I've had to go quite a bit. Now this is minus 53 and yeah, it's, um, it's actually quite close to us. So I'm not too bad. Let me get this mind. What do you mean I can't sleep? It's been thunder and lightning for the last like 20 to 25 minutes. Has it literally just left as I've come back? Right, or whatever. So finally we found that vein and it was huge. We got over a stack. Picked up some obsidian and we are pretty much ready to get on with the next one. So let's complete this. And it's now crafting a vault rock. So what is, yep. Not too bad. Vault rock. Perfect. Do these get used for anything else? No, literally just vault rocks. That's fine by me. So yes, complete that. Now, a vault altar. How do we do a vault altar? So vault altar. Uh, what are we missing? We need stone bricks. Alright, and stone, and we can craft this, nice, 
So I'm going to put that right here, just right in the middle. Like, why not? Uh, that gives us the button that we need to get this all going. And now it is time to craft our first crystal. Complete a vault crystal and we get a shulker box. Nice, right, so... Hey, two vault rocks. We need an emerald. Like, I think that's got to be the worst one. 